Hello, Year 9. I hope you're all well and I hope you're all keeping safe. Uh, we're at that point in time now, guys, where we have to make uh, very important very important decisions about our GCSE subjects that you will be picking next year. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to be doing now is looking at religious studies, which is obviously my subject, and hopefully convincing, considering uh, picking religious studies for next year. Now, without further ado, why do we choose religious studies? So as the slide says, guys, there are some questions that can't be answered by Google. So these questions are considered as ultimate questions within religious studies. They're questions that uh, are very, very difficult to answer uh, and sometimes are questions that we can't get an answer for. So we tend to ask parents these questions. We tend to, you know, put the questions on Google and we still don't get a, a response which we, uh, which we are looking for. So... What we tend to do in religious studies is try to answer some of these ultimate questions by looking at various religions, by looking at various scientific viewpoints, by looking at non-religious viewpoints, and trying to basically make informed uh, decisions about these questions that we uh, have always uh, tried to answer. So religious studies is a subject that will look at those questions which you always found, of, which is which you always try to find the answer for. Okay, so. Reasons to choose RE, guys. Uh, hopefully, uh, some of these might be quite important to you. Uh, it will change the way you see the world. So in many instances, if you do pick up religious studies, it will hopefully make you tolerant towards other, other, other religions. It will uh, change your outlook on the way you view the world. Hopefully, you can achieve a good grade, uh, get a good GCSE grade. The topics are engaging and interesting, which we'll look at in a second through this PowerPoint. Uh, you get uh, to... Uh, do lots of discussions uh, so uh, RE is a big subject for debating so you'll be doing lots and lots of debates uh, you work hard hopefully and learn lots definitely it will open your mind opening your mind to the sense of new ideas and new concepts which you have never studied before uh, it's a good way of understanding the world uh, and the uh, people in it uh, you will learn lots uh, about yourself hopefully and you will develop key skills for later life, which we will also be looking at in this PowerPoint. Now, what is the subject content, guys? There's uh, two components that we generally study in uh, religious studies, and that is the study of religions. And the two study religions that we will be looking at in year 10 is Christianity and Islam. And in component two, guys, that is thematic studies. Uh, and what will generally be assessed is a religious philosophies and ethical studies. Now, the religious philosophies and ethical studies are generally religious ideas about topics that surround us all the time, like war and peace, uh, like uh, medical ethics, like uh, whether or not we, uh, whether or not there is a God, uh, about crime and punishment, uh, about good and evil. So these are the topics that we generally will be looking at in uh, in religious studies. So the themes that uh, that have that are highlighted and underlined are the themes that we will be looking at in a uh, key stage four. And those themes obviously are religious and families, religious and life, religion, peace and conflict, religion, crime and punishment. Uh, and oh, I might, and, and it's not I might, I think I'm pretty much 90% sure that I will be looking at religion, human human rights and social justice. You don't need to look at five units within our, uh, with, at key stage four. You only need to do four because that's the only, what you need to do in your exam. But I might just look at another unit just in case you might you may not prefer, say, for instance, religion, peace and conflict. You may prefer to answer the questions on religion, human rights and social injustice. So I may do five units rather than four. And we do have the time to do that. How is so, sorry? Excuse me. How is it assessed? Written exam is an hour and forty-five minutes. So you'll have two exams, uh, one obviously on the study of religion and one on the uh, thematic studies. Uh, Ninety-six marks, guys, uh, is uh, the the marks uh, is the amount of marks that you will be marked out of, and the and plus five marks for spelling, punctuation, and grammar, and fifty percent of the. Uh, Component one, it, sorry, 50% of GCSE. So component one will be 50% of your exam mark and uh, thematic studies will be the other 50% of your GCSE mark. Moving it on. 
How will I get my grade, guys? So obviously it's a 100% exam. There's no uh, coursework in it. There's two exams for one hour and 45 minutes in the summer of year 11. So hopefully uh, exams will go ahead this year. Uh, sorry, when you when you go and do your GCSEs and hopefully you will have them in the summer of year 11. So, so guys, some sample questions that you'll probably uh, encounter during your exams or during the assessment time, uh, assessments uh, when we look at it in lesson is uh, which one of the following uh, the best that will best express the religious idea that there should be no violence in the world. Uh, so guys, what you generally do, this is a one mark question. You will only put a, a letter down, A, B, C or D. So it's only a one mark question. You don't have to give much time on this question. Question two, again, only two marks. Very little time is given to that. Question four it does require a paragraph uh, and it will go into the religious viewpoints about uh, religious viewpoints about any topic. So in this particular case, it's forgiveness. So what does Christianity believe about forgiveness? And what does Islam believe about, uh, believe about forgiveness? And then finally, you have a knowledge based question, which is a five mark question. And that is to basically look at religious viewpoints and to try to answer uh, it by using sacred literature. Now, there's also another question, which is a, which is a whole lesson in itself. And that's the uh, five, uh, sorry, that's question five. And that's the 12 mark question, which is the evaluation question, which will give you a statement. And you have to evaluate that statement by looking at religious beliefs, by looking at non-religious beliefs, and by giving your own viewpoint. Okay, so these are some of the sample questions that you probably encounter in your assessment and obviously in your exam. So some of the units that you will be looking at, or some of the topics that you will be studied in, uh, are in front here. So one of the questions is, does God exist? We will be regularly looking at this concept through various uh, topics. Uh, does God exist? Other ones will be... Sorry for a minute. Uh, sorry, just rolled there for a second. Uh, the other ones will be the existence of evil uh, when we look at crime and punishment. And that will obviously be looking at various people, in particular the two at the bottom. These are, uh, these are two individuals that we will be looking at and how their, their views uh, led to the uh, led to what they did in their lives. And we'll also be looking at what religion would say in terms of how, what kind of punishment these two should have faced when they, when they did, uh, when they were convicted of the crimes that they had committed. So uh, what we'll be generally doing guys is we will be also looking at topics like this. Also, folks, what we'll be looking at is why does God let evil things happen? So obviously there's a question that if God let evil things happen, does that mean that there is no God? Sorry, let me just hide that. It will ask us, what about earthquakes, floods, etc.? They must be created by God, but why? So if God is all loving, why does he do this? If God exists, why do we have evil? Uh, these are some of the questions that generally will be asked. Uh, and these are also questions which we consider as ultimate questions. So uh, this is something that we will discuss in debate sessions when we, uh, when we do, uh, if you do pick religious studies. And should, should God stop uh, people doing evil uh, things, uh, would that interfere with our free will? Uh, something else, another major concept that we will be studying is free will. So uh, if you do pick RE, these are the, some of the units, or these are some of the questions that we will explore. And it's God testing us. So we'll also be looking at science and religion. And obviously it says Darwin versus God. So I'm not 100% sure if Darwin was basically uh, opposed to God, but he definitely came out with a viewpoint that actually uh, was contradictory to religion. Uh, so we will be looking at the science and religious viewpoints of how uh, the universe began. So obviously these are some of the questions that we will look at. Can science and religion agree? Which uh, has the truth? Which can uh, uh, which can explain uh, the truth, guys? Why does society value science? So we'll be looking at topics like religion and animals as well. Uh, animals' rights. Uh, are we basically being cruel to animals by subjecting them to various uh, experiments? Uh, which animals are okay to eat and why? So animals and basically food. Uh, these are some of the things that we look at. 
Uh, we'll also be looking at planet Earth and how we came about, uh, what are the religious viewpoints on, uh, in terms of how we got here, how God created the universe, uh, how the science, uh, the scientific view uh, on uh, planet Earth. Uh, we'll also be looking at the, uh, in terms of uh, environmental factors uh, and pollution, greenhouse effect. We'll be, all, we'll be studying this as well. See these are some of the questions that I'm not sorry. These are some of the questions that we will probably explore in religious studies. So just take a look at them, folks. And uh, obviously, these are some of the questions that we will debate, uh, and hopefully, this will interest you into picking religious studies. This is a unit again we will we'll be looking at, and that's religion, peace, and war. Uh, why do we have war? Various questions. Uh, what is terrorism? Various questions that will be explored in religious studies. So some of the key skills and, uh, and prospects that you will basically be looking at in religious studies is that you will be able to be, uh, analyze things in a more detail. You'll be able to basically explain things by looking at uh, various topics and look at the value of these topics. Uh, in order to make informed decisions for yourself. You'll also, for those, be looking, uh, you'll also be inquiring skills or, or gaining skills in logic. So in a reason, uh, one second. So guys, got logic will give you the skills to think uh, in a reasonable way. Uh, some of the ultimate questions which we can't answer. Uh, reasoning, guys, it will give you skills to allow you to think about uh, some things in a sensible way. Uh, empathy, guys, you'll be able to sense uh, people's other people's emotions. You'll be able to feel how other people feel, hopefully by picking uh, religious studies. Uh, critical evaluation, guys, you will be able to provide a, a, a verdict on an opinion on an, uh, on an investigation. So when you do investigate certain topics like, uh, I don't know how we got here, or investigate a topic like, say, for instance, the Moors murderers, uh, you will be able to look at it in a critical way uh, in terms of what punishment should, have, should they have been given and obviously uh, give a, a verdict and an opinion on these. Uh, so you'll be able to basically develop these skills through that. Obviously, uh, Arias is a literacy-based uh lesson uh, so you'll be able to basically use uh, I don't know you'll be able to basically improve in your writing skills you improve in your uh, speaking skills and obviously be able to express them uh, a lot better in RS and hopefully guys you'll be able to negotiate so when we do debate guys you will be able to be you will be debating with uh, other pupils in the lesson and you'll be able to basically come to agreements uh, when we look at the various topics uh, in RS and obviously guys you will be able to tolerate other people's viewpoints as well which is I believe is a very important skill to have so these are some of the skills which you will acquire in religious studies so this sounds amazing but which jobs uh, will it help me get so let's have a look so the medical profession, guys, doctors and nurses, and nurses need to uh, need to have a firm understanding of medical ethics, and many religious teachings have a direct influence on their jobs. So abortion, euthanasia, uh, organ transplant, blood transfusion, genetics, these are all topics that we will be looking at religious studies in religious studies. Uh, the police service guys, uh, which is something my son wants to get into. So the police officers need to have a good understanding of multi-faith and multicultural issues in order to do an effective job. They must show tolerance and understanding and be uh, and be against prejudice and discrimination, which is obviously a hot topic these days. Many UK laws are based on Christian and uh, Christian and uh, Christian laws and teachings. So let's have a look. Lawyers and judges miss, uh, must study uh, religion and law as a part of their training. Religious and influenced most of their laws in the UK and also in many other countries. Uh, so they have to have knowledge about uh, religious viewpoints, about moral uh, and ethical topics as well. Uh, it is vital that a lawyer is free from prejudice as they must treat everyone equally. And religious studies helps them to achieve that. Teachers, of course. So a teacher will usually encounter students with different religions and different races. So we've got to be pre uh, free from prejudice. We can't really look at somebody in terms of their color or in terms of their background. Teachers should have a good understanding of religious beliefs and teachings as they should be able to encourage and empathize with students and their lives. 
social workers. Guys, social workers must have a good understanding of religious and cultural issues in order to understand and empathise with people who they're actually working with. Uh, religion and culture affect all aspects of life, guys, from birth to death, in the home and, and at work. All social workers must be free from prejudice and must treat everyone with respect and equality. So, uh, guys, in a nutshell, folks, it, if you basically do pick religious studies, it shows that you are uh, are into personal, into are into uh, public relations. You do want to be, you are open to uh, looking at uh, various cultures and various religions, and that will put you in good stead in not just these jobs that I've looked at, in every single job that you may take take up so the armed forces guys uh, especially with the army should have a clear understanding of religious and cultural issues i think an example of that is when a student came from uh spoke to me and i think he was uh, i'm not sure he, where he was posted i can't remember i think it was somewhere in africa i'm not sure <laughs> but what happened is is that uh he was giving uh, relief uh, food uh, to the people who were in this particular country who were starving and uh, while they were giving these sandwiches out to these people they start the people started throwing the sandwiches back at him because the people who he, he was giving food to didn't like pork so uh, it was very important at that point in time for them to be educated uh, so therefore he said that I remembered it that at that point in time, what you taught us as Muslims aren't allowed to eat pork. So that basically is the, one of the reasons why the armed uh, the army uh, requires people to have some sort of religious uh, knowledge when they apply for that job. So when the armed forces are deployed overseas and protect civilians in war-torn areas, they should have an understanding and empathy for their culture and differences. So remember this, guys, very, very important. Choose your option subjects because you think you'll be, go uh, you'll be good at them and that they will interest you. So guys, if this subject interests you, then please do pick it. If you don't think it is for you, then I would say that, uh, you know, if you don't, if you're not into debating, if you're not into looking at different cultures, if you're not looking into various ethical topics that will uh, that will challenge people, uh, that will basically challenge you, then the subject isn't for you. Don't choose subjects because of what you, uh, you what you want to be with a best friend or an inspirational teacher. Your friendship may not last, and the inspirational teacher might leave. That might not be the issue, folks. But you also may fall out with that inspirational teacher because the inspirational teacher. Inspirational teacher wants you uh, to do well so he's going to have to be a little bit or she's going to have to be a little bit difficult on you and it's going to push you to your limit and if you don't want to be if you're not one of those people who don't get pushed into your limit you are going to be falling out with that teacher so don't pick it for those reasons guys pick it because you like it uh, and pick it some because it lends itself to your views and to your uh or it interests you all right guys uh i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you uh do pick uh or you do consider religious studies uh and i will probably meet you at a parents evening so take care of yourself and all the best bye now